Yo guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you one or two mechanics in every single rank that you need to master. So for bronze, I think it's not necessarily a mechanic, but I think the most important thing is learning how to use ball cam. Some people still get up the ranks in like plat, diamond, champ, and they still don't understand how to use ball cam properly. So when you're dribbling, you want ball cam off so that you can have full control of your car and you can see the ball because it's right on top of you when you have ball cam on your camera will be moving a lot and it's really hard to control and then the second thing is rotating you want to be rotating with flicking ball cam on and off that's why for me it's important to have my transition speed at 180 so it goes quickly but not too quickly so that you can't understand where you're going if you need to get this back boost you can flick it on and off to know where it is and it's the most important thing to learn straight away as you go into the game okay and the second most important thing i'd say is learning how to use boost a lot of bronzes and even even still up to like champ even still up to ssl to be honest to some degree they will waste boost so much like they, they will use boost like this to rotate or they'll use so much boost to get up to the ball just to like hit it nowhere you need to understand how to use the boost and when to go for boost as well i know it's hard in, in bronze but you want to be able to read the game to a degree where that determines how you how you use your boost like you can get yourself into positions where you don't have to boost when dribbling at all if you do the dribble right this does take a lot of practice but there is certain positions you can get yourself into where you don't need boost and you can still get a good flick off so if you genuinely want to become better at the game, the quicker you learn how to use boost properly, the quicker you'll rank up. As I said, there's still SSLs that don't understand how to use boost, so I would rec recommend learning this instantly. I'm going to show you a couple of situations where I want you to answer if you think you should have boosted or if you think you shouldn't have boosted. So that is bronze done. I'd say the two most important things are learning how to use ball cam and learning how to use boost. Okay, so moving on to silver, I would recommend that you learn dribbling and your first few flicks. I have a video on my channel where you can learn flicks, so like the 45 and the 90 degree flick. Uh, in silver, I would recommend you being able to dribble the ball, even if it's just slightly. Uh, as I said, dribbling on your head is the most important thing to learn i think a lot of people around silver gold plat can't really dribble that well so the earlier you learn how to dribble the quicker you'll rank up and very fast so i'd recommend in bronze as you get the ball cam and the boost down i then recommend you learn how to dribble the ball and how to get control of the ball the best thing i can recommend is you not trying to reverse at all just try and hold come into free play just try and hold drive and that's it and then constantly catch the ball so once you get comfortable with being able to dribble the ball and say if you can get the ball on your head like this then i want you just trying to practice your first flick so if you can get the ball on your head and practice your first flick that is really important for silver and that is what i'd recommend you do this will also at the same time help you with the ball cam that i've spoken about before because as i said you need ball cam off when you're dribbling so getting used to having ball cam off and getting used to like dribbling and flicks and things will definitely help out with that and obviously it will also help with how you manage your boost and how you use your boost when dribbling and flicking as well so for bronze is ball cam and boost and for silver i'd say learning how to dribble and trying to do your first flicks okay so moving on to gold now i'd say this is where things start going into the air uh, in my flip reset video i mentioned the best way to try and get like the first touch and the air dribble i will show it again here quickly now though so i'd recommend rolling the ball up the wall like this being behind it 
and then getting a touch up like this and you should be able to air dribble it considering you get the boost so it should look something like this so that's the first thing i'd recommend when you get into gold is learning how to air dribble and just learning how to do a few things in the air will be huge for you to get out of that rank and alongside air dribbles i'd then say perfecting your hits the earlier you start perfecting the hits you get on the ball the quicker you will rank up so a lot of people talk about air roll hits and shots and things like that uh, this is essential for you to learn because this will get you out of gold and to be honest out of plat instantly Actually getting good hits on the ball will be one of the most important things you learn in this game. A lot of people talk about air roll hits and air roll shots. They are very, very important and I would recommend you learning them as soon as you can. As I did mention though, in bronze and silver, I would say there's a lot more other important things to learn first. But when you make it to gold and around plat, I would say perfecting your hits or at least starting to perfect the hits you get is very, very important. I would really recommend this pack here. This pack will maximize your hits very quickly and this is a really good pack to grind. Okay, so moving on to plat now, I would recommend the thing you start learning in here is double taps. I think now you have some sort of knowledge with ground play, you've started aerials and you can do a few flicks. I'd say now the most important thing is learning how to read the walls and learning how to read the backboard and making sure that every time you do go for a read, you are hitting it. And to learn the double taps best, I would recommend this pack here. This pack will definitely make you improve at double taps really, really quickly as long as you grind it. Now we will move on to diamond. Okay, so in diamond, I would say uh, the number one most important thing now that you have some sort of knowledge with ground play and aerials, I would say is speed flips. Uh, kickoffs become a huge thing from like diamond and above, I think, because kickoffs are, are generally where most people concede goals from at a decent rank. Like usually a good kickoff will just get you a goal instantly at these sort of ranks. I think also with learning speed flips, you become a lot quicker and a lot better at rotation. Uh, cause your recoveries will be a lot faster and everything like that so this also has to tie in with rotation so i'd say speed flip and rotation is the most important thing for diamond so what you want to do is flip diagonally left and then move the analog quickly down through the left side and you should be able to get a speed flip to the left if you're just beginning a lot of people forget that you need to catch yourself and put yourself back straight when you get to the end of your speed flip, you need to use an air roll for this. I use the normal air roll for this. A lot of people's speed flips look like this and that's because they don't catch themselves at the end and put themselves straight again. So you need to go like that and then put yourself straight again with air roll. Hopefully my controller overlay will show this. And then you want to keep practicing this, but with boosting and then you should become better at this over time, especially the more you practice it. So I would say learning how to speed flip and actually mastering it is huge. I'd also recommend between diamond and champ learning how to do the Cooksear pinch or the Jazer pinch. Learning this sort of thing at these ranks will be really, really effective to ranking up. And it would also make you a threat anywhere you are on the field. I do also have a video covering pinches, the Cooksear pinch, the Jazer pinch and the Ashtrow pinch. So if you want to go watch that video and learn how to do the pinches properly, go and watch that. Okay, so now we're moving on to champ. I think champ is the hardest rank to get out of. The move from champ to GC, I think is the biggest move out of all of them so far. And this is why I will actually recommend a few things to work on in champ to get yourself to the GC level. But the first thing I will say is flip resets. I think learning how to flip reset is massively important to get out of champ because the level up to GC is when things genuinely start getting creative and players start improving. So I think sitting in free play and learning how to flip reset or maybe even double flip reset is really effective in this sort of rank. I'll give you training packs like this one. It will be really effective for you to start training those flip resets and to get yourself out of champ and into grand champ. So alongside flip resets, I would now say learning flicks and to actually get comfortable with them is now the most important thing. Learning the 45 degree flick, the 90 degree flick, most importantly, the Morksy flick, 
and learning and getting comfortable with the normal flick. You don't always have to shoot these. It is really effective to just get around opponents and generally in champ, it will help you rank up massively. Okay, now we move on to GC. I know this is also another huge stretch from GC to SSL. I know it's a place where a lot of people stagnate for a long time. And I think a lot of that comes down to actual creativity with ground plays and with aerials. I think a lot of the time I see GCs just go for like one flip preset and they go for a shot and usually it is never good enough because at a higher rank everyone's defense has got better as well so it will be harder to score these normal and uncreative plays. So I think once you reach GC your main focus is to come into free play and genuinely improve on your creativity and making yourself hard to read. So I think the key to ranking up in GC is actually getting consistent with creative outplays and making sure you can hit them a lot of the time and I think just generally becoming harder to read and being more creative will help you rank up to SSL. I think to work on creativity you need to come into free play and constantly work on getting a flip reset and working on the musty and then the finish. Musty flicks in an aerial is always the quickest way to get power especially if you hit it right so it's very very useful if you learn how to do this properly. And you can also use the ceiling as well to get creative. I personally really enjoy using the ceiling. I think it makes stuff really hard to read and I definitely recommend learning this. Some of the things don't have to be that hard as well. Sometimes you can just go for a double double, but it's not actually too much movement. It's just moving the stick a lot. You only use one flip and then you just control your car. And if you get this down, you will basically outplay any opponent that you come against. Unless maybe you come against Zen. And it's the same thing with the ground plays. I'd recommend coming into free play and just constantly making sure you're getting good power on your breezies and making sure that you're getting accuracy with them as well. Okay, so I think once you reach SSL and you want to be pushing like top 100 or maybe you want to hit like 1900, 2K, 2.1K MMR, whatever you want to hit, I think the most important thing to work on is maximizing every single thing you already know. So making sure like if you hit flip resets like five, six times out of 10, making it go to nine, 10 times out of 10, this will take a lot of consistency with training and things like that. But most importantly, making sure that every single hit around the field is the best possible hit. Some, some people I've heard say you can reach SSL just by being able to hit the ball properly which to be honest i can't deny because just being able to hit the ball properly is one of the most important things in the game if you can make every single one of your shots go on target with power or every single one of your clears with a lot of power just everything you do like maximized every hit you make it is so important and you will rank up very fast but i would also say i think you can get to ssl without maximizing this yet but I, I wouldn't say you can get much further, especially like if you want to put top, uh, push top 100, top 200, things like that. There is no chance of you pushing that without maximizing your hits and making sure that this is perfectly done every time. In general, I just think you have to master what you can do with your car and what you can do with the ball. And once you can do that, you will end up reaching the heights of this game. So like I've mentioned before, wave dashing and things like that should already be maximized and you should be doing this perfectly every single time. And just basically taking adv every advantage you can with marginal gains in training. So just work on every single minor detail to improve yourself as a player. And if all of these minor things are done correctly, you will end up reaching a very high level in the game. That's going to be the end of the video guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Comment what other videos you want to see me do, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.